Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. What I do is take gas cars and convert them to electric. Let's get an update on the Nissan Frontier project. So I haven't been here in the shop for about two weeks. I got uh, injured a couple weeks back and I've been recovering from that. Um, I won't get too deep into it, but uh, on the road recovery. So we're back in the shop. Dave's been in here helping me a little bit with the truck. So what we did is we test mounted the motor and the transmission together. Um, right now you can see I've got them separated, but we did have them up in the truck. Uh, it, everything seemed to fit okay. I noticed a few problems. This uh, transmission is definitely not from a Frontier like this one or the small changes in different iterations of the Frontier because none of the mounts were lining up with the brackets that are welded on the frame of the vehicle and i was just at a junkyard where i pulled a cross member out of a 97 frontier or well i think it's a 98 was the first year that they sold them but this one actually had 97 inside the door panel this one's a 98 and it's only a few months build date later than that 97 but the the bracketry under the chassis is completely different. So there must be a couple different iterations of transmissions they were using in the early years. So you can see it's a little bit, a few inches from where the mounts line up and the height is wrong. And the drive shaft is also um, not fitting. I think, so the drive shaft has two issues. The first one is the transmission needs to move forward a few inches, like I think three inches. And secondly, there's a ton of rust on the input shaft of the transmission that is just interfering with the fit. So anyway, long story short, we're back to the drawing board. We're confident it's gonna work. We just need to sort out through these issues. Also, we noticed with the transmission that it's, it's stuck. Um, the input shaft, the output shaft are both frozen. They won't rotate at all. E you should be able to easily spin them by hand. Also, it's locked in gear. Um, this is the shifting fork and it's, this is all the way to the back and it, it won't rock side to side. So I'm pretty certain that this is locked in like first or third gear or something like that. So there's two issues with it. The, the, none of the shafts will spin and it's locked in gear. So it's, it's basically seized up. So we're gonna see if we can have a transmission shop take a look at this thing. Maybe it just needs, um, a detent popped back in the right position or or maybe there's deeper problems but um i've done manual transmissions in the past just doing you know replacing bearings and and uh, synchros and things like that but i don't really want to dive into that in, at this part of the project so if we can farm that out that's going to be good for me but we did get the the motor mounted in there the motor's going to work fine even if this transmission doesn't work Nissan sold this this transmission with all these the bell housing bolts and everything for like 40 years or something It's a huge run on this transmission. So if we can't get this one working, we'll get another one So then as far as adapting the output shaft of the motor to the input shaft on the transmission What we've got is the coupler from Brat Industries. So it's got the Nissan leaf motor spline in there It's really high quality perfectly machined and this is the clutch center from a clutch. So here's the clutch. Basically took it all apart. It's a, just a brand new clutch, really cheap. And all I wanted out of it was the center because this has the splines for the Nissan transmission. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off all this excess material on the outside. So we just have this center section. And then I'm gonna have a machinist with a lathe basically turn this down so that it'll slot and, and trim this up to the right length and then put this machined really nicely so we can press it into the coupler and then weld around the circumference of that of that joint so that it's perfectly straight and it's super strong and that is how the output shaft of the electric motor will power the transmission also I've been cleaning up the wiring from the Nissan Leaf loom. So uh, we got the one here for the inverter, the one here for the PDM, and then these are the wires that we 
wire into the different systems, the 12 volt, the Resolve EV, the CAN bus, etc. We also have the uh, wiring that goes to the motor, the position sensor, so that's all good. Also, you can see all of this wiring that I cut out of the Frontier. So this is all the engine bay wiring that we're not going to need. So everything to do with the fuel injectors, the distributor, the sensors, the alternator, all bye-bye. That's all gone. So you can see the engine bay looks really clean now. There's not a lot going on. So we just have the wiring harnesses for the headlights, uh, for the relay box here. And that's about it. I did keep one wire out of that huge loom. And this is for the temperature sensor for the gauge cluster. So like I said, I want to use this with a temperature sensor on the new drivetrain so that at least, I mean, you're not going to need to see it, but at least it'll work, you know. So that's the Frontier. Um, moving forward, not a huge update but an update nonetheless. Also, Dave was in here and he decided he wanted to throw some coats of paint on the frame. So you can see the frame, he, he painted it all up nice with some Rust-Oleum. He wants to spray the bed with um, bed liner. So I'm just, I'm letting him do that, you know. That's not something I wanna do anyway. So if he wants to do it, more power to him. So this will look really clean now when we pop the bed to show off the battery and everything it's going to look mint so this is really cool otherwise about the same um i've just been out of the shop for two weeks so we're getting back into it and we're going to go hard i'm really hoping to get this truck running by the end of the year so let's get to it so thanks for watching and make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed i'm going to be doing a video on this nissan pickup about once every week until it's running so You'll be able to follow along with the progress and see exactly how we get it done. Thanks again for watching.